Number 15. Facebook Link Scams Otherwise known as clickbait, basically these are those links that everyone sees on their Facebook news feeds that say, he bought a book, you won't believe what he does next. If you click on the link, you'll be led to a website with more ads than content and the eerie feeling of viruses at every corner. These are basically sites specifically designed to just get visitors to view the tons of ads, which gets whoever is running the show paid. In fact, most of the time, you don't even get all the way through the article or slideshow. You're lucky if you get two slides in before you're redirected to your news feed. It's not a problem with your phone or computer. It's mostly just the page wants you to restart as many times as possible. So if you're interested enough, which you probably will be, you will click it again and again, trying to get the full story before you really do give up. Just keep in mind that most of the articles by these sites aren't even that great or surprising. Do your best not to click these links, even if they do awake curiosity in you. Number 14. The Work From Home Scams Considering how many scams there are that are related to the internet, this one should be no surprise. Stay-at-home moms, young college students, and even retirees are a few of the people that often fall for work-from-home scams. They sit and browse the internet for jobs, and if you've ever done that, you've probably seen all the ads and options for working from home. The jobs seem easy enough, stuffing envelopes, making phone calls, sending emails, signing paperwork, and so on. The pay for these jobs are usually very generous, considering the simple work that you are assigned. Some of these scams offer up to $900 a week just for sending out emails. These work from home scams can work in three different ways. The first way is that you are told you have to buy a starter kit before you can start working and racking in the cash. These kits range from 40 or 50 bucks to hundreds of dollars. The kit never shows up and there's no valid way to contact the company. You pretty much just put cash straight into the pocket of who knows who. The second way is that you do actually work, stuffing those envelopes or making phone calls, but you never get paid. The company finds random excuses to not pay you, such as you're not working fast enough, there's an issue with their bank, or you have to complete a 30-day probation. Whatever the reason, you're putting in work for these people, and you won't ever get paid. They pretty much just use you until you finally get sick of it and leave. By then though, they've already found another victim. The third way is that you have to give them your bank account information so they can direct deposit you the money and they just wipe out your account, put you in debt, and leave you totally confused. Matthew Whitley was the leader of one of these scams and when he was finally arrested, he had already earned about $20,000 in just nine months. Number 13. Arrest Warrant Scams An arrest warrant is a warrant signed by a judge that issues for your arrest, meaning that if you're pulled over or caught, you are to be brought straight to jail. Warrants usually come from serious crimes, but can also stem from overdue traffic fines and other minor offenses. An arrest warrant also comes with a much larger fine than the original offense. However, Oftentimes, the higher fine is not an option, and you are required to do jail time or community service. The arrest warrant scam is pretty much what you'd expect. The scammers send out false arrest warrants, but assure that it can be paid off for about $1,500 or more. The victim most likely will do what they think they have to to stay out of jail, so they send out a check or give out their credit card information. The victim has just lost a pretty penny over an arrest warrant that wasn't even real. Maybe this goes to show that there should be better ways of informing citizens of their warrants or traffic tickets. Just an idea. Number 12. Prize Scams Everybody likes to win, everybody likes free money, and everybody likes things that are simple. Prize winning scams are some of the most popular scams there are. There are so many millions of them that occur every day. It's hard to pick the worst of them. Prize scams are letters, online games, phone calls, and much more that inform you you've won major cash. 
all you do is send in a small fee to receive your money. Some scams, such as the publisher's clearinghouse scams, take it a step further by requiring bank information to make deposits or telling the members they have to buy certain products to be eligible to win. By the end of it, you spend $5,000 on products that don't work and they're asking for more and you're not a step closer to winning that jackpot. These people are just in it to win it, not the prize, but your hard-earned money. There's no such thing as free money. No one is ever going to hand you money, and even with the lottery, it's pretty unlikely. Number 11. The Nigerian Print Scam Also known as the Advanced Fee Scam or the 419 Scam, this comes in the form of an email or occasionally a phone call. Basically, this group of people who differ from scam to scam inform you that they work with the Prince of Nigeria and he has a couple millions that he'd like to store in your bank until they can access it later. Not to mention, you'll get a very generous tip for allowing them to use your bank account. All you have to do is send them all your info and you'll see the money plus your cut within 48 hours. Even as far-fetched as this scam sounds, Plenty of people have fallen for it. Obviously, the only thing that really happens here is someone gets into your bank account and completely drains it. One woman lost nearly a million dollars of her own money by falling for the scam. Sometimes, these crooks even convince people that they've somehow inherited money and all they have to do is pay a lot of fines, fees, and taxes to get their big check. Number 10. Fishing if you ever get an email that claims an issue with your account or computer, be very, very careful when clicking links. In fact, try to avoid it entirely. These are known as phishing scams. All you have to do is click the link provided in the email and you've already screwed up. You'll be led to a useless site that can get your login information, give you a nasty virus, or even steal more important information like credit card numbers. And personal identity. In fact, this is how a lot of celebrity nudes get out. They received emails from what they thought was Apple concerning their accounts. Once they clicked the link, the site was able to get into their galleries and copy all their photos. This is entirely without their knowledge, by the way. Things like this can happen without any pop-ups or anything. Number 9. John Beck's Free and Clear Real Estate System this scam has a simple enough and pretty logical design. It's basically a collection of books for about $40 that will help you get rich. However, this is just another scam that didn't work out for anyone and left a lot of people completely broke due to misleading information. In some of the DVDs for John Beck's free and clear real estate system, one man claimed to have bought a home for only $10. There was really no proof for this and it just seems like something that's entirely impossible. John Beck claimed that another one of his clients bought a home for about $560. However, the client actually paid triple that. $1,680 for a home is still a great deal, but Beck failed to provide the fact that the home was in truly terrible condition. The client had to pay over $100,000 worth of repairs and renovations over the course of 10 years before he was even able to sell it at a market price. John Beck was one of three defendants in a case with the Federal Trade Commission. Among the three defendants, they had essentially stolen $450 million from the consumers and also led them into very sketchy realty deals. If Beck didn't steal right from their pockets with bullshit DVDs and books, then he stole from them by convincing them they could make money. Although, it's probably the fault of the consumer for getting involved in something so technical without any knowledge on the subject. Number 8. Last Minute Ticket This isn't the type of scam that comes from a seemingly successful businessman. This is something that is sketchy from the very beginning but a lot of people go through with it every single day. Have you ever found out about your favorite band being in town at the last minute and you rush to their website to buy tickets only to see they're sold out? Chances are you've started looking around for tickets, seeing if your friends have any spares. 
If worse comes to worse, you may even resort to Craigslist, the online cesspool of sales, or at least that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. Finding tickets to local events for sale on Craigslist at the last minute usually isn't that hard. People conveniently always seem to have extra tickets. Most times, the seller has a sob story about really wanting to go to the game, but having a family emergency or something come up. They're selling the tickets for a higher cost because they're hurting for the money, or even lower cost because they just want them gone fast. It's become very common that once you get up to the venue or gates, the tickets don't scan. It's a fake. You just paid your hard-earned cash for fake tickets, and you probably can't get a hold of the seller either because they gave you false contact information. Really, the only ways to avoid scams like this are just not to do it. If you absolutely must see the game, try to convince the seller to use an online transaction system, such as PayPal, that way there's some proof of the transaction and some legit contact information in case something goes wrong. Number 7. The Greatest Vitamin in the World Don Lapre was a very popular infomercial salesman. He was most well known for selling business plans that didn't always work out. In June 2011, Lapre was arrested and charged with 41 differing counts of conspiracy, wire fraud, promotional money laundering, and a few other related charges. He was said to have had roughly 220,000 victims from whom he collected $52 million. What is known as his most complex and popular schemes was the greatest vitamin in the world. This magical daily pill claimed to be the result of extensive research done by the New England Journal of Medicine. When selling this product, Lapre claimed that this vitamin could cure and prevent heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. The best part is that Lapre didn't just find a great way to save lives, he even found a way to make money. He offered a system where his customers could buy a website of his for $35. From there, if 20 people bought vitamins from said website, the original client would be paid $1,000 for the month. The most logical way to sell a magical vitamin would be for Lapre to just sell it himself. However, he claimed to have had plenty of money and just wanted to help others. Some poor schmucks actually fell for the tree branch style scam. What these poor fools $35 actually got them was a useless website that no one ever visited and a useless bottle or two of pills pills that the FDA clearly warned were being falsely advertised, by the way. When these clients were actually lucky enough to sell some of the greatest vitamins, there were weird issues that would come up that would prevent them from being paid. Lapre made a great offer though. If someone was having trouble selling the vitamins, he would sell them marketing strategies for just a couple grand, which was sure enough to pay off in the long run. Long story short, a lot of people fell for this scam and got themselves into serious financial hardship. But as a sort of bittersweet touch to things, Lapre also had to file for bankruptcy and was filed with IRS charges. Number 6. Online Dating Scams Online dating has rarely proven to be a good idea. Sure, there are the success love stories and we know everyone gets lonely. It's just very important to be careful when logging on to a dating site or even talking to someone you don't have mutual friends with on Facebook. The online dating scam is one that's done pretty simply. Scammers often log on with fake accounts of sexy men or women. They get close to the other user looking for love and eventually get money out of them. They say that they've had a family emergency, their phone broke, or they need a plane ticket to come meet them. Some people just fall for others too easily and will do anything for them. The worst part about this scam is that the scammers don't just get 50 to 100 bucks and then disappear. They keep coming up with more and more emergencies and excuses to keep racking in the cash. Some online dating scammers can earn $500 per scam if they're good storytellers. The lesson with this scam is to generally not send money to people you've never met. Number 5. 
free money to pay your bills. With the way the world turns, there are very few people that would turn down the opportunity for free cash. So when Matthew Lesko, a well-known author, published an infomercial explaining that there was free money out there to be had, it's no surprise people jumped at the chance. Lesko basically explained that the US government had over $350 billion just sitting around wanting to be used up. However, as the US government often does, they kept this money a secret. Thank goodness that Lesko dug deep and found all the best and easiest places to get free money, wrote a book about it, published it, and sold it to the working middle class for $40 a pop, except for the fact that this book was entirely useless. All of the different programs for free money were things that hardly anyone was qualified for. Half of the programs were things like food stamps and unemployment insurance. You know, the things everyone else knows about simply by being a citizen of the nation. The other half of the book was another set of programs no one could get into because the things were so very vague. After a few years of criticism and dropping sales of his mind-blowing book, Lesko admitted that he stole all of the information from a pamphlet he got from the government and that mostly everything on it was easily accessible without buying the book. However, money is money and some people chose to earn it a little differently. Needless to say, this book had pretty booming sales when it first hit shelves. It was just the type of late night infomercial that people actually ended up calling in on. Although this wasn't the type of scam that put people into debt or anything, it was nonetheless a scam that took $40 from the pocket of hard-working people just looking for a little help with the cable bill. Number 4. The Free Car Scam Anyone who has ever been desperate for a car personally knows about this scam. Even someone here at Top 15's almost fell victim to this. It starts by posting on Craigslist, or other sites for classified ads, stating that you're in need of a cheap car. Somehow, it won't be long before an email shoots into your inbox, usually from a woman, saying that her niece died and now her brother is looking to give away his car and for you to email him. The email seems sketchy from the get-go because it's longer than it needs to be and why wouldn't this brother just message you himself? If you're smart, you'll just back out of it at this point. But if you're dumb or desperate enough, you'll email the guy. Let's call him Joe for the sake of the story. You'll email Joe about his sister contacting you, and you get an almost immediate response, like copied and pasted, which is several paragraphs long about how he lost a daughter, and he knows she would want her car to go to someone who needs it. More likely than not, Joe is located in New York, while you're located in Texas. No matter where you're from, Joe will be hundreds of miles away, so you ask, Well, Joe, this car sounds like a damn steal, but I have no way to get it. Joe assures you that he and his caring wife can drive down to Texas to give you the car because they've been looking to get out more anyways. He will ask for your address, and even if you don't give it to him, he promises to have the car within the next few weeks. It all seems pretty legit just a nice Christian man looking to give away his late daughter's brand new car. Until Joe sends an unexpected email about how, it's really no problem giving you the car for free, my daughter would have wanted it. She was such a giving person. In fact, she'd probably just want you to donate whatever you would have to spend on the car to a charity. That still doesn't sound so bad, so you start bouncing off ideas of your favorite local charities. Joe butts in with, actually, she had a charity she worked with up here. You could just wire us the money and we would donate it for you. Here's a good stopping point. Nothing has made sense so far. Why can't you choose your own charity or even just donate it yourself? Plenty of organizations have websites set up to take donations. However, there's a million people out there that have fallen for this scam pretty much until the end. They wired Joe as much as $10,000 to donate, likely all they had for a car to begin with. Then they just wait. The car never shows up and you never hear from Joe again. It's pretty twisted that someone would have faked having a dead daughter 
in order to scam broke people for the chump change they have saved up for a much needed car. Number 3. The Modeling Scam There's no set example for this one because it comes in various forms, but modeling scams usually go after children and teens looking to be rich and famous because what young person isn't? The victim can get an email, phone call, or even letter to their home stating that they have exactly what the company is looking for in a model or professional actor. They're given promises of a quick rise to fame and fortune. Almost always, they are given a list of celebrities that have origins from this company. Using big names of well-known people give the company a sense of legitimacy. Before the child can be shot up to Hollywood and booked for auditions, they must pay some hefty upfront fees. Usually these fees are for photos, registration, travel costs for your agent, and other pointless things. It all racks up pretty quickly, and once it's paid, that's pretty much the end of it. In some cases, the victim is lucky enough to get monthly calls saying there's no luck finding them work, but with a few extra fees, that can be changed. Most of the time, however, the victim never hears from the company again. Very rarely, these kids and teens do get work, but they don't get paid for it. Either way, they're being stolen from, and there are plenty of parents in debt for trying to help their children's dreams come true. Number 2. Religious Scams While a common issue today is that churches seem to become more and more revolved around donations, these scams give churches an even worse name. These scams range from sob stories of church members needing surgery, a general request for donation, and promise of certain pamphlets or gifts with a small donation. And very occasionally there are even scammers crazy enough to mail people pamphlets about how paying this church will somehow get them a spot in heaven. Usually your name and address ends up on their mailing list somewhere. They send letters, pamphlets, and photos monthly if not more often than that. These letters are filled with nice Bible verses, good luck charms, and even packaged samples of holy water. The first good idea would be to not make contact with the liquid you got in the mail, and the second would be to not pay these churches. If you're a religious person and you want to donate, find a church you know is real, or just find a charity you're passionate about. Everyone has different beliefs, but we can all agree that there's no excuse for sending off money to fake churches with dramatic sob stories. Number 1. The Senior Drug Scam Senior citizens unfortunately fall victim to scams more than anyone. Most seniors just aren't as up to date on technology. There are healthcare scams, award scams, and even scams dealing with their last will and testament. However, the most popular and most dangerous is the online drug scam. It's an obvious issue that a lot of prescription drugs are just too expensive. A lot of seniors have trouble paying for their numerous prescriptions, even with the help of their insurance. This scam targets those poor, sick elderly people by offering them a much cheaper option for their drugs. It doesn't sound that bad to get your painkillers for $50 less by buying them online. The problem is that most of the time they are sent counterfeit drugs, knockoff versions of the same drug or the entirely wrong drug. This is really dangerous considering they will even be without the pills they do need and will possibly be taking something that can make them very ill or even kill them. It's sad to think that there are people out there willing to slowly kill the elderly for money. Got an idea for a top 15 list? Submit it at top15s.net backslash submit and be sure to subscribe for future videos. And if you enjoyed today's narration, be sure to join me, Let's Read, over at my channel where I narrate true horror stories, creepypastas, science fiction, and countdowns just like today's. Thanks for watching friends and we'll see you soon.